Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm giving a shout out to Home Depot for making the bold decision to stop selling inferior smoke alarms. So I was at my local Home Depot the other day, it's the one in Maple Grove, Minnesota, and I'm shopping for whatever I'm shopping for, and I'm walking past the smoke alarm department, and I did a double take. I realized almost all of the smoke alarms are identical. Well, at least they're the same brand, same model, and there's just a few different, different flavors of them. They've got smoke alarms that come with hardwire options, there's batteries, there's sealed lithium ion 10 year batteries, there are carbon monoxide alarm combo units, there's all these different types out there, but they're all essentially the same thing. And I went, what the heck is going on here? I mean, you used to have all these different types and brands and just this huge selection, and now it all looks pretty much the same. There's a few little oddball ones here and there, and I went, what happened here? So, of course, my first question is, what type of detector are these? Because it makes a big difference, the type of detector inside of your smoke alarm. There's two major types. You got ionization, which are bad, and you got photoelectric, which are good. And I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that at, at the end of this video. But we've got these two different detectors, and I went, all right, which one do we have here? So it says photoelectric right on there on all of them. They all say photoelectric. So the new detector by Kida, and it's spelled K-I-D-D-E, it's pronounced Kida, not Kitty. Uh, I am saying it right. The, this new smoke alarm detect is all photoelectric detectors, and that is what has pretty much completely taken over the selection at Home Depot. So they're making it so you don't have a choice of which type of detector to get. It's all gonna be photoelectric. And there are a few oddball smoke alarms, like I said, on the shelf. And I examined every single package. They don't sell a single ionization smoke alarm anymore. Nothing on the shelf is ionization. So kudos to Home Depot. Love that they're doing this. Kudos to Kida for making this new detector only in the photoelectric flavor. This is what's going to save lives. So the message here is if you go to Home Depot to buy a smoke alarm, it used to be really tough to figure out which alarm to get, which one is going to be safest for you. You don't need to think about it anymore. If you go to Home Depot to get a smoke alarm, whatever you get is going to be fine. It's gonna be a photoelectric smoke alarm. You no longer have ionization technology being sold there. I applaud this. This is wonderful. Kudos Home Depot. Kudos, Kida. Good job. And just so you don't think that uh, I'm getting paid by them or something, I sent emails to both Home Depot and Kida about a month ago asking them why the big change, what's behind all this, why are you doing it, I applaud it, and neither one of them have responded to me. So they won't even talk to me. Whatever. I'm just telling you I think it's great. Okay, that's my message. Now, for the other part of it, because I know there's gonna be people out there who say, wait a minute, but industry ec experts say that the safest thing to do is have both ionization and photoelectric smoke alarms in your home. Yeah, I know. And those industry expert panels are heavily populated by smoke alarm manufacturers. They've got an agenda. They've been making ionization alarms forever. And people have been dying due to lack of these alarms going off or these alarms being disabled due to nuisance alarms forever. It's been going on for a long time. The knowledge is out there that photoelectric smoke alarms are far superior. True, ionization alarms will go off a little bit faster if you have a fast flaming fire, probably an attended fire. But if you have this fast fire ionization will outperform photoelectric by a few seconds. It, it'll get you just a tiny bit of earlier warning. On the other hand, if you have a slow smoldering fire, 
These are kind of the more deadly ones where you have smoke slowly filling a room while somebody's sleeping to the point where they, well, you, you get my point. Photoelectric will go off tens of minutes earlier. Tens of minutes. This is a huge difference. There's been so many different exposés done, so many news things done. Uh, I've got tons of links to them on my blog. It's, it's been happening for a long time. Everybody in the know knows that photoelectric is superior. I don't have a single ionization alarm in my home because I don't want them. They go off every time you burn toast. You have tons of nuisance tripping. And then what happens when you get nuisance tripping? People disable the alarm. They take the battery out, they take it down, and now you don't have any protection. Even if you have dual sensor smoke alarms where you have both of the sensors in there, you still have the potential for nuisance tripping because of an ionization alarm. And then in some cases, you'll have manufacturers that just ratchet down the sensitivity of the ionization alarm to the point where the photoelectric will outperform it in every single case. And then at that point, why even bother with the two different technologies? So I, I've, been, I've been beating this drum for probably at least 10 years now. All you need in your home are photoelectric smoke alarms. And again, Home Depot and Kitta have made it very easy to not get the wrong type. And then of course you gotta ask, so why are they doing this? Well, I think the answer is obvious. They don't want to sell ionization alarms anymore. They want to provide people the safest option. So good job guys. That's my little two cents on why I'm actually calling ionization smoke alarms bad. And I think that's it. We'll keep recommending photoelectric smoke alarms to our home inspection customers. I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Thanks for watching me ramble. Take care.